Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the 23rd or thereabouts. So, right around the 23rd. What do we have for around the 23rd? Now, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like to book a reading with me, I have a few days uh, left open and then I'm shut down till probably the end of March, maybe, for private readings. Maybe at some point in March, I'm not sure. But if you want one, book now. The link will be in the description box, also in the community tab. So what do we have for a message for around the 23rd? Strength. So strength is a card of courage, bravery, restraint. Hmm. Nine of Swords. So this is anxiety, worry, uh, fear. Have no fear. So this is have no fear. We have somebody here that is obviously worried about something. Or there's some sort of regrets. There could be some regrets. Having a hard time sleeping. Somebody's been repeating the same patterns and they need to they need to find their determination to stop doing that. Ooh. Four of Cups. Missed opportunity. Somebody has missed an opportunity. They may have some sort of regret. So they may be in a very somebody could be depressed, you know. Definitely over analyzing things. Not seeing that there's an opportunity. Somebody's not seeing that there's an opportunity for happiness. Focusing on an emotionally disappointing situation, really, really stressing over it. Now, this is removing an obstacle of fear. Very, very worried about something. Somebody's worried about breaking free or they're worried about stepping outside of their comfort zone. Somebody's worried. It's like they have another opportunity. Somebody has another opportunity with this Four of Cups. They have an opportunity for happiness, but they're very fearful and there's a need to not have any fear don't have any fear find your courage be brave be brave somebody is trapped in a situation that they need to step out of they're not seeing clearly definitely very very worried can't sleep because they're so trying to probably why is this happening? Why can't I break free? There's a there's a need to have strength and there's a need to be brave. Somebody needs to be brave. Hmm. Now the eight of swords reversed is uh, reevaluating next to that nine of swords. So somebody is definitely reevaluating their circumstances. There's been some sort of lies. Somebody may be feeling guilty. They have another opportunity, but they can't take it because they're trapped in their mind. In their mind, they're trapped. You know, it's a mindset. Somebody's mindset is telling them that they can't do it. What they can, you can. Where there's a will, there's a way. So somebody, somebody can break free from this mentality but they need to find the strength and the determination and the courage and the willpower to do so. This is an offer. Somebody is, is, is 
has an opportunity right in front of them that they are either ignoring or they're missing. They may be ignoring an opportunity because of their own mental conflict. Lying, this could be self-deception. Somebody may be lying to themselves, you know. Thinking that they can't break free, you know, but they can. Ooh, four of pentacles reversed. Now that is about opening up. Removing an obstacle and letting go. Somebody's been holding on to something that they have there's been some sort of obsession. Somebody has been obsessed with holding on. Maybe controlling another individual. Because the strength card is also about control. And this is some sort of obsession. This is removing an obstacle of fear, stepping outside of a comfort zone, you know, and letting go of some sort of security. It's like, this isn't really secure. It's not, but somebody's been holding on to something because it felt secure in their mind. In their mind, it felt secure. Somebody may have some regrets as well. They may have some regrets for not holding on to something, for letting something go. They may be feeling guilty. They could be feeling ashamed. They missed an opportunity. Somebody has missed an opportunity. And they probably feel really, really bad, like even, you know, uh, regretful that they missed the opportunity. They missed the opportunity because they were focusing on... Uh, staying in a situation that was comfortable but it wasn't happy now this is this is letting something go so somebody could have some serious regrets for and it even could be letting themselves go you know it could be, this could have to do with letting yourself go you know um this is willpower strength confidence courage be brave. Somebody needs to find their strength to face their fears by the looks of things. There's definitely an opportunity here. There's an opportunity for love or for emotional happiness. There is. Somebody's been thinking about it a lot too. A lot, 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 lot. Oh, yeah. All is not as it seems. Somebody's been hiding their feelings. They have. There's also some hidden forces here. Somebody's gut is telling them that they need to face their fears. There's a lot of fear here. There is. Somebody's wearing a disguise. Very, very, very fearful. It's fear of the unknown. It is. Somebody is very fearful of the unknown. The moon is self-deception. So There's strength here. Somebody has the strength inside of them. They may have to dig deep. Dig deep. To find the strength with, within you to break free from whatever the heck this is. Could be an addiction. There's a need for determination and restraint as well. Somebody may be, may be holding themselves back. It's like they're holding themselves back from, from taking action. There is an opportunity here for sure, though, with that Four of Cups. It's been ignored. I think it's been ignored. But this is an obstacle being removed. Somebody's been having a lot of dreams as well. Their dreams have been telling them you got to follow your gut. Ooh, 
Ten of Cups reversed. Now, there's relationship problems here. Or a broken relationship or a dying dream. Somebody is, is losing, you know, a dream, perhaps. It's because they've been hiding something. Somebody's been hiding. Or they've been in hiding. They've been hiding something. It's because of fear. Fear of... Maybe it's even commitment or being confined, you know, being somebody may have fear of, you know, being tied down. Anyhow, um, now the Ten of Cups reversed is relationship problems. This is a dying dream. This is letting go. Letting go of a relationship. Somebody is letting go of a relationship. It's a very stressful situation with that Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of despair. There's a lot of anguish, sadness, guilt. Not interested. I mean, that, that Four of Cups is, is somebody's not interested. They're not interested in... Uh, being in a commitment or being confined or being tied down they're letting go of a relationship an obstacle of be is being removed that somebody that somebody has been trapped and they've been reevaluating they've been trapped they've been reevaluating they're very very stressed out they're having a very hard time sleeping their intuition and their dreams are talking to them, telling them that they have to be brave, they have to be strong, they have to find their determination and confidence and willpower to, you know, face their fears. And their fears are, are big, okay? Have no fear. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead, but there's also an opportunity for happiness, there is. Ooh, five of swords reversed. Now that's like walking away. It is. It's like uh, letting go of ego. It's like I don't want to fight anymore. I don't. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to pretend. I don't. I don't want to. Um, it's not about being right. It's about being happy. Somebody's looking for happiness and they've been in an unhappy situation and they've been staying there. They've been staying put, stuck in this situation. Anyhow, the five of swords reversed is there could be a fight. There could be an up, there could be a fight with a fight, upright or reverse. There could be a fight that is coming. Okay. Um. Or it could be the end of a battle. It could be the end of a power struggle. I think we have a very stressed out individual here who just doesn't want to fight anymore. You know, it's almost like they're ready to face their fears. We have we have we have emotions here as well, so somebody ha is it's almost like they're they're feeling a lot of uh, emotions emotions over a relationship that I don't know if they let go of that relationship or something like that. Five of Swords reverse, walking away. Walking away. Somebody's going to be walking away for good. You win. You win. I want happiness. Done living in fear. Done. Done being controlled as well. Somebody has definitely been controlled by another individual. Definitely have some ego here. We have ego here. Absolutely. 
set the past. This has to do with the past. Oh, it does with the moon card as well. So we do have the past. Somebody, we have a past relationship. Somebody is stressing out over a past, over the over over a past relationship, whether it's with a family member, an ex, or friend, whatever. This is a stressing out over a past, stressing out over a past relationship. Thinking about it a lot. Hiding their feelings. Somebody is hiding their feelings because they've been wanting to win at all costs, you know. They've let pride get in the way of happiness. Pride, pride, happiness. So somebody has let their pride get in the way of happiness. And now they're, you know, really thinking about the past, you know. There's a reevaluation going on. Somebody is really reevaluating their path forward. And there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. There is. There's some unseen forces here with that moon card that are causing these memories. These memories are coming up for a reason. Maybe maybe it's because they need to be released or they need to be dealt with. Somebody may need to be honest. There's been some lies here. Maybe somebody needs to be honest with themselves. We may have somebody here that finds their courage to express their feelings to somebody that they let go of in the past. And that doesn't have to be a lover. I mean, it could be, but, it, you know, I feel like there is some sort of, we have somebody here that is having a lot of regrets, put it that way. Ooh, three of wands reversed. Now this is lack of foresight, wasted time. Somebody's wasted some time not seeing an opportunity. Somebody has wasted time. And they may have regrets for wasting time. There's been some sort of delay. It's because this person didn't know. They didn't see. They didn't see the opportunity right in front of them. They didn't. They totally did not see. And now they have regrets. As you see, this is you did not see, but this one is too. You notice this one. This person is very, very stubborn. Very stubborn, ignoring an opportunity for love, a real opportunity. That's a that's that's a gift from God right there. So somebody has been ignoring an opportunity, not seeing it. They had a blindfold on in their own little mental prison. Lack of foresight. Time to relax and let go. Somebody was very, very, very stubborn. We have stubbornness here and stubbornness here. Obsessed with winning. Obsessed with winning a battle. Definitely. Somebody was obsessed with winning and now they have a lot of regrets for doing that. Anyway, but this is the strength to break free from a mentality. Somebody is going to be finding the strength to break free from some sort of mentality that has kept them trapped and missing the boat. What is this Six of Cups? Could be a reunion with the Six of Cups. Okay, there could be a reunion here that is coming up with a relationship that has already ended. There was, there was a lack of clarity. There was some sort of confusion here. And there was a battle. There was a power struggle. There was a power struggle that caused a relationship to not last. 
And it and, and, and like I said, it could be anybody. It could be a family member or a lover, friend. Hmm. Knight of Cups reversed. I said, what is the Six of Cups? Remember the Knight of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that probably ran away when the going got tough. You know, swept swept the problems under the rug. You know, a procrastinator. Somebody that obviously wasn't emotionally available or couldn't face reality or confrontation or couldn't handle stress. Or can't handle stress. There could be an emotional outburst ahead as well with the Knight of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that is could be heartbroken. They could be distraught over the end of a relationship. There could be some tears that are shed. There could be a reunion with the past. And maybe, you know, and I'm not going to say that's for everybody. But there could be. Or somebody is reminiscing about a past relationship that has ended. And that's where the tears are coming from. That, I mean, it's very emotional time, put it that way. So there could be, so this could just be reminiscing about a, a relationship that has ended, you know, with somebody from the past. And the strength card is a card of healing. It's a card of courage and willpower and determination. And underneath it is the four of pentacles reversed, which is letting go. Perhaps there's another opportunity that somebody has been missing while they were focusing on the past. Now look here, we got one cup here and one cup here. So there's a couple opportunities for love here. There's two. There's two choices. And we got somebody here that is pondering their two choices. Right now. They may be in an unrequited relationship right now and they have to make a make a, a choice. You know, do I stay in this unrequited love relationship where I'm trapped and keep wasting time and be stressed out or do I face my fears? That's exactly what we have on here. Somebody is, is really, really thinking, contemplating about their options. Right now, they are in a very tough position because they have to make a choice. And facing their fears is choice number one. And it's probably fear of rejection because this is rejection. Somebody's fear of rejection. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, overwhelmed. Somebody is carrying a heavy weight. They are. They can't even, they can barely see where they're going because they're so overwhelmed. Somebody is trying to bury the moon card, their feelings in their work and responsibilities, you know, that way they don't have to see the past, you know, they don't have to focus on the past if they, they can block it. Somebody's trying to block out the memories. They're trying to block out the, the feelings that they have by taking on so many responsibilities. And speak, but they've reached, it's reached a point where it's, it's time to either, you know, it's time to let go. It's time to face reality can't do this anymore anyhow somebody's been trying to prove something with these two cards they have somebody's been trying to prove how strong they are prove how capable they are you know it's not about proving yourself it's about being happy at this time let go of the ego let go of the pride follow your heart So that's what's on the agenda. Letting go. Letting go of pride.
We got somebody here that is hiding behind a wall. But really looking at the past. And having a lot of regrets over their inability to break free from their own mentality, to break free from their ego, for, over their inability to follow their heart. And I feel it almost feel like they're feeling uh, embarrassed that they missed the boat. So anyway, um, is anything coming? I don't know. With that boat being missed, and I'm not sure. It looks like there's been a lack of foresight. Uh, is anything coming? Ah, oh, separation. There's going to be a separation. Somebody's going to separate from. That's a separation. Okay, the lover's reverse is, is a, it's a breakup, it's a separation, it's the end of a contract. There's no compatibility. It's a choice. And remember, I told you there was two up here. This is a choice between two. Somebody is going to make a choice. And there's going to be a separation. Be somebody's going to be detaching from a contract that is not compatible. This is removing an obstacle of fear. Letting go of emptiness. Letting go of an empty contract that is not meant to be. That's what's coming. There's probably going to be a fight, like I said. These two are kind of mirroring each other. This is a conflict. This one is too. So there, there, could, be a, there could be a fight. There could be a fight with a false contract or something like that. And now, the lovers could typically be a soulmate, but in reverse, it's not a soulmate. It's not meant to be. This is a separation out of self-love. So anyway, I feel like that in the next whenever... Somebody is going to be dropping. They're going to be dropping something that they have been holding on to because they just want to be happy. And where they've been, it's been extremely stressful, okay, to be tied to this situation that isn't meant to be. Good luck.